Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. The other day, as I was perusing a chart of metal uh, properties, I noticed that the difference in melting points proportionately is about the same between gold and platinum as between lead tin solder alloys and copper uh, that we typically would solder with those alloys. And so that got me wondering if gold would make a good soldering material for platinum wire. Uh, because if it did, that might have some useful applications in the jeweling industry. Specifically, a jeweler could make an article of jewelry out of braided or twisted platinum wires, uh, which in that form could be flexible, could be fitted to the person who was going to wear the article. And then once all of the necessary adjustments had been made, he could heat it up and melt gold into the crevices between the wires, similar to how solder will wick into the crevices between wires in copper braid. Uh, and the end result would be an article of jewelry made out of a gold platinum composite. Now, I'm not really a jeweler, and gold and platinum, even in the form of fine wire, are expensive enough that I didn't want to buy enough material to actually make an article of jewelry out of them. Uh, but I did pick up a few scraps of wire relatively cheaply so I could make this little test piece just to see if this idea would work. And even working with just a pair of pliers and a propane plumbing torch, I was actually able to get it to work pretty well. So, I guess if I ever need to make a piece of custom jewelry for somebody, I've got a way to do it. And I thought I would share this with the YouTube community in case anyone else out there who may have more cause to be making articles of jewelry than I do uh, might find it useful. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching The Idahoan Show.